morning TL Travelers and welcome to or welcome back to the TL Travel YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome to the family. This morning we are waking up in beautiful Campbell River. If you missed my last video, we took the ferry over from Vancouver to Nanaimo and then drove up this way. So be sure to check that out if you're planning a trip this way. But today we are going to be doing some adventuring around the area in one of the many parks that there are to check out from Campbell River. And we're not doing it alone because we actually have a guest our friend Emily, whose information I will leave down below. I believe you've seen her on this channel once before, but this is our first time getting to do an adventure in person, and she's joining us from her beautiful van life van. So lots to share. This is promises to be a wonderful little adventure to share with you guys. So if you're not already, hit that like and subscribe button. Definitely do it. Post new travel content every single Sunday, and let's just get this day started. So we met up with Emily who conveniently stayed in our driveway last night and then proceeded to drive in circles as Derek's maps tried to locate us and then proceeded to drive us in more than a few circles. Sorry, Em. Okay, so we are on the road to our final destination. Initially, we were going to head to Strathcona Provincial Park, but upon further inspection, it seems like even though the park itself is open, a lot of the trails that we wanted to do are closed and it is the further park away. So instead of like driving all over the place, we backtracked to Elk Falls to do Elk Falls and Deer Falls. However, Deer Falls, <laughs> the GPS took us again on a wild goose chase. So we're finally back on track and uh, head to Elk Falls. With our girl M, ready to go. <laughs> Falls is one of the most popular provincial parks on Vancouver Island and boasts an extensive network of well-groomed forest trails. The falls itself stands at 89 feet tall and can be viewed from two separate viewing platforms on either side of the falls, as well as by the 60 meter long Elk Falls Suspension Bridge. If you're afraid of heights, the bridge might not be the adventure for you, but you do not have to cross the bridge to view the falls. I think that's important to mention. And if you follow the trails just a little bit further, you will also find Deer Falls, which is a smaller falls in a quieter area. And we're back in Campbell River now after doing some exploring out at Elk Falls Provincial Park. We did a little tour around there this morning, probably spent about an hour and a half to two hours uh, exploring there. Just stopped for some food right here on the waterfront, which was great. And now we're heading down to Miracle Beach to just, you know, kind of enjoy the views, hang out and have a nice sunny afternoon because uh, why not make the most of the sunshine while we have it? So I'll bring you along for those views as well. And um, yeah, that's my whole update, so <laughs> let's go. Rainy days don't seem so wet Stormy nights don't stay From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh this could be the best thing that I'll ever know mm -hmm. Talk for hours and never slept Two silhouettes on the concrete steps We watched the sun as it slowly crept from the horizon to the place we met Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know And we are back at our Airbnb now. We honestly raced the weather to get back here before it started pouring rain and made it 
just in the nick of time. Um, but yeah, we had a beautiful day and we were able to explore almost everything that we wanted to see. Um, the morning, as you saw, we saw Elk Falls and Deer Falls. We had originally planned to go out to Strathcona Provincial Park, but the trails out there didn't seem like they were going to be open and it is a little bit of a further park but it does look beautiful so if you are in the area that's also another option that you would have exploring from Campbell River if you had a vehicle um, and weren't you know didn't have the problem with going a little bit further to do some exploring but Elk Falls and Deer Falls are very close by so it's totally an option. Uh, Miracle Beach we went to as well as a stop at Oyster Bay which is also very close and then there is a viewpoint here in town as well which I'll leave some information for in the description down below again because of the rain we did not end up getting to do that um, but yeah that would definitely I think you know if you've checked it out and you've done it before leave a comment and let me know um, if that's worth adding to the list and I'll still leave some uh, information down below so that was our adventures here in Campbell River in our next video we're gonna be moving to the opposite coast of the island and taking you along with us we still have a ton of adventures coming up here out on the island so if you've not already hit that like and subscribe button definitely do it I post new travel content every single Sunday and until I see you in the next one Stay great, travel safe, and I'll see you then. Bye, guys.